This week on Wildcat News, we investigate why everyone is getting sick. Students gather for See You at the Pole. And Gym 4 students take a unique turn on a well-known activity. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnston. I'm Anastasia Loneski. And I'm Eric Bean. Autumn has begun, and that means flu season is right around the corner. Nick Reeser reports on how you can stay healthy this season. A student's worst fear is getting sick. Devin Walker tells us why kids get sick and how to prevent it. People are sick, getting sick because they're not cleanly. <laughs> Some people are not very cleanly at all. <laughs> and they carry germs around on their hands or if they're already sick, they'll start coughing on people, and that gets people sick. Well, to prevent getting sick, people can buy hand sanitizer and start rubbing it all over their hands. They can also start stockpiling some Kleenexes because coughing into, or they cough into your arm. If you cough into your arm, way better than into the air because people get sick by that. Sometimes students can't help getting sick. Judith Jordan tells us what you should do if you are sick. If you are sick, stay home. If you're running a fever, stay home. If you're having nausea and vomiting, stay home. You know, I know it's important to come to school because of class and attendance and, and all those issues, but in the end, you're going to end up spending more time at, at home or away and getting other people sick if you don't stay home. Um, get yourself better, hydrate yourself, make sure you're eating a balanced diet, fruits and vegetables, water, drink plenty of water, stay hydrated. I'm Nick Reeser, Wildcat News. Thanks, Nick. Last Wednesday, Impact Student Ministries led an event called See You at the Pole. See You at the Pole is a really good time for us to become unified, and it's really nice to get with a group of students who have the same beliefs and who have the same passions as you do. We, we started off by praying together, and then we each individually prayed and uh, out loud, and just to, they wanted to make it so that we prayed out loud together over different things such as um, over people that had lost a family member and stuff like that. This event has changed students' lives in various ways and has made them feel more unified. It just, it just makes you stronger and it just uh, really helps you get through the school year as a Christian. It's impacted me because it's uh, made me realize how many more Christians go to West Johnson and just that like so, sometimes you feel like you're the only one and, uh, and I realize that I'm not. See You at the Pole is led by a Christian ministries group called Impact. They meet once a week to plan for events like See You at the Pole along with other future events. See You at the Pole has increased the amount of people that we have because um, a lot of people don't really understand what Impact is until we have an event like See You at the Pole. Impact Student Ministries is open for anyone. Um, you really, you don't have to sign a commitment form and you don't have to pay any fees. You just have to show up to the clubs um, whenever you can and enjoy your time with us. For more on this story, visit wjstudentmedia.com. Anna, do you ever feel like you're a little too stressed? Yeah, sometimes the stress is a little too much. It's hard to stay positive about it all. I know what you mean. Ariel Andrew gives us a helping hand with a few ways to stay positive. In most students' lives, stress is abundant and hard to overcome. Cole Carlson and Yasmin Rabone tell us how they stay positive. I stay positive by forgetting about the negative things at the end of the day because there's always a chance tomorrow to try better. I personally need a lot of alone time, like time to myself to sort of like gather everything, get stuff straight in my mind, and to sort of focus on positivity in general, and just sort of keeping a positive attitude through negative situations. Junior Amanda Sledge has a different approach on staying positive. The main way I stay positive in negative situations is my faith in Jesus Christ. I have the Lord with me at all times, and I know he'll never put me in a situation that I can't handle. Carlson, Sledge, and Rabone give their tips to stay positive. Staying positive in negative situations, mainly if like you're really stressed because of schoolwork or stuff like that, it can be heavy, especially if you're just like constantly drowning. You have no time to yourself and no time to relax or like relieve some of the stress. Some people have different ways they'd want to, like, you know, working out or sleeping or making lists to get things done, just whatever helps the individual. Some tips to stay positive are to just focus on the positives. Don't get overwhelmed by the negatives and make sure to talk to somebody. If you're feeling stressful, someone else obviously is feeling the same way as you and we, you guys can talk about it and figure out what you can do to help. 
don't let negative things bother you because then you're just going to be stuck living your life focused on the past when you actually have a future ahead of you. I'm Ariel Andrews, Wildcat News. Thanks, Ariel. Now over to Jamie Snover with The Rundown. I'm Jamie Snover and welcome to The Rundown. Here's the last week's scores. Wednesday, tennis won 8-1 against East Wake and soccer lost 3-0 against Clayton. Thursday, volleyball won 3-0 against Roseville and varsity football won 15-14 against Southeast Raleigh. Monday, tennis won 9-0 against Harnett Central. Volleyball won against South Johnston, varsity scored 3-2 and JV scored 2-0. Here's a look at the game of the week. Kaylee Eubank sets up Abby Barber for the spike in the first set against Nightdale, making the score 2-1. In the second set, Abby Barber and Emily Renz jump and block a Nightdale spike to push the score 7-1. Emily Renz scores off the serve, making the score 5-4 in the first set. Kelsey Ellis serves and Abby Barber spikes to take the lead 5-1 in the second set. Tessa Starkweather scores on a serve, making the score 19-4. Last Saturday, the first annual alumni basketball game took place. Ray Kemp catches up with some of the players to see how it felt returning to the gym. Last Saturday, the basketball team organized an alumni game in order to raise funds for the team. Cameron Williams shares with us how he played and how much fun he had regrouping with his friends. Coach asked a, a good superstar to come back, so I just had to come back, show off the talent. We did our thing, we won, came out with a W, beat the other squad. I enjoyed it, it was fun was able to uh, regroup with the other, the old heads. Scott Chestnut explains why he came back and how he played. I decided to play in the game because Coach Williams contacted me and told me about it. Uh, he basically begged me to come back. Coming back to West, it felt good. Um, I missed playing basketball here and I missed seeing my friends, so it was nice to be able to play with my friends again. We had a lot of big guys, we had a lot of quick guys, so overall, our team was very talented. I just graduated, came back, and I was basically the best on my team, better than Cameron, so I'm satisfied with my performance. Chestnut talks about what he misses. Mainly I miss playing basketball, um, but besides that I miss being able to see my friends every day. You know, it's, college is what they say it is, it's way different. Being able to play the sport I love, for the school I love, you know, I miss it. I'm Ray Kemp, Wildcat News. Be sure to visit wjstudentmedia.com or click on the link in the description box for more information on the alumni basketball game. Tennis is away Wednesday and home next Monday. Soccer is home Wednesday and away next Monday. Volleyball is away on Thursday and home next Tuesday. JV football is away on Thursday and varsity football is home Friday. Cross country travels to Charlotte on Saturday and golf is away next Tuesday. Come out and support all your fall athletes. I'm Jamie Snover and that's your week's rundown. Thanks, Jamie. Kickball. We've all played it at some point in our lives, yet Gym 4 students have found a way to make it their own. Catherine Sorrell tells us more. The PE4 class participated in a rather unorthodox activity this past week. An abundance of water, dish detergent, and plastic tarps made sliding into home plate a bit easier. Coach Jefferson explains what gave her the idea. I thought of this idea when one of my friends posted it on Facebook. It was off of YouTube where they played kickball, but instead of running, they made slip and slides and plastic to slide into the bases and the bases were swimming pools. And when we just kind of adapted it and changed it a little bit. As in regular kickball, players must follow all of the traditional kickball rules, except they must slip and slide from base to base. Students tell about their experience with the game. I'm the star player out here because I scored five, six times, hit one home run, hit one off the fence, you know, you know, I'm just good like that. I brought my team to W. My team lost, but Jason's team, they're some sore winners. You know, they were rubbing it in our faces. I scored 10 runs. He didn't score that much. I like this game because it was something different. I had a good time. I thought it was fun, it was pretty fun. I got wet, as you see. I'm really dirty right now. I have grass like all over my body. I think this is a good activity. It's it's a lot of fun when people actually want to do it depending on the weather. I think it'd be better to do like earlier in the year, but it's a lot of fun. I'm Catherine Sorrell, Wildcat News. Thanks, Catherine. 
Well, that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads, email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home, on the go, or catch up on past episodes, go to wjstudentmedia.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Eric Bean. And I'm Anastasia Lineski. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of Homecoming Week.